I, I don't agree with everything Elon does, but this is an extraordinary entrepreneur. This is someone who has helped create revolutions in three different industries, first with electronic payments at PayPal, uh, then with Tesla, now SpaceX. This is an extraordinary person. So I think uh, we should be glad he's an American entrepreneur. He's recharting a, f a new history. He's helped create the electric vehicle industry and put it on an entirely new trajectory. So I think uh, we should be grateful for what he's doing. Do I agree with everything he says? Not exactly, but has he been an extraordinary uh, entrepreneur? Without a doubt, he's a role model for the country and the world. And Jim, you've worked closely with Elon Musk uh, over at SpaceX. Yes. In terms, I, I realize that the tweets, uh, and, and not just about the whole take private scenario that we're talking about now, but even we've seen some tweets about rescuers with the Thai uh, cave situation. Uh, there were tweets earlier in the summer about bankruptcy that was joking. I, are they crescendoing here, or is this just, as an investor, is this just something that is part of Musk and the Musk brand, and you're buying into this, and if, if you're surprised by it, then you haven't been doing your due diligence? Yeah, well, Elon uh, is a very dynamic person. I agree with the comment that, it, that he's one of the greatest entrepreneurs of our time. There's no doubt about it. I've known him since he was in his late 20s, and uh, I've watched as he's matured a bit. Uh, and he, he was prone to outbursts. Um, I wouldn't call them angry outbursts. I would call them passionate outbursts. And I think what we're seeing today on Twitter and in other mediums is really Elon being the same one he was when he was in his late 20s, but he's, he's got a much broader audience and he's under a lot bigger microscope, which I know he doesn't, doesn't really care for. Steve, could another CEO run Tesla with... Uh, with Elon Musk still involved, running technology, uh, I guess still tweeting since nobody can stop him. I mean, Tesla's had a couple of CEOs before. Their exits, um, at least one of them, pretty unceremonious. Do you think another CEO could come in here and kind of take some of that leadership role, that spotlight, uh, pressure from shorts that Musk himself doesn't seem to want? Look, I think it'd be very hard for yeah, someone I, else I, to step in. And, and let me just say at the outset, as a rule, I don't think it's good to try running the country or, or a company by uh, Twitter. It's just, I think, not the way you want to run a, a large organization. Having said that, the electric car industry is booming. It is becoming the de facto uh, vehicle around the world. Every automaker on the planet is moving to electrics. It's hard to see uh, anybody who could take the mantle from Elon at this point in time. What's really made the difference here is Elon saw the vision more clearly. He made big bets on the Gigafactory. People now understand that the cost of batteries is about a third of the cost of the car. He was the first to develop uh, in-house supply. It gave him a cost edge on the rest of the industry. He's shown the ability to see around the corner of the future, to make the big bets, uh, and I don't see anybody able to step into his shoes for some time to come. Jim, it sounded like you had some thoughts on this as well. Well, I was going to say at SpaceX, um, he has a number two, Gwen Shotwell, who's an old friend of mine and replaced me when I left. And I would say on a day to day basis, she still runs the company. But Elon ultimately is the best salesman a company can have. And I think if you look at his contribution to these entrepreneurial startups, they're both the fact that he sells, you know, this vision of Tesla, of SpaceX. Plus, he's got incredible leadership abilities in the sense of of making that vision become a reality. So, you know, Martin Eberhardt was, was the guy who really started Tesla. Elon came in as an investor and later took over as CEO. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced that Tesla would be what it is today without Elon. So I tend to agree that Elon's influence is very, very fundamental. Um, and that once it becomes a much more mature company, profitable and so on, uh, I can imagine Elon will uh, move along to something else to uh, start another great idea.